welcome back if you're joining me from another video if you're joining me for the first time hello boy do i have a mountain of plushies to get through <laughs> uh stars aligned and i got a heap of plushies which i've put through over the last few weeks these are from um, mostly these ones are from auction wins but um I tend to include in my marketplace hauls, flea market finds, auction wins, and secondhand stores. Now, if you're a long time subscriber of mine, you know that I love rust trolls. I love them. I absolutely adore them. I found a bunch of rust trolls for five, they worked out five dollars each in the auction. <laughs> I was so excited because you know that I will pay anything up to ten dollars for these guys um, sometimes even more depending on what it is <laughs> let's start with this one here isn't he adorable so again five dollars New Zealand got his clothes on and amazing the thing that I couldn't get over was the amazing condition they are they are a new condition you can see there's no pulls on his body his clothes are clean apart from one and I'll get to that one soon this little yellow haired tyke so <laughs> I'll get to him um to, at the end of it but isn't this gorgeous this little blue one I love it so much and then next is the same auction for five dollars oh my goodness this little princess one I've never had a princess troll in this size before I've had the little ones but I've never had a large cuddly princess troll and isn't she adorable again the quality um they came from a collector uh an older lady who just wanted to pass on her collection basically so these have been well loved really really cute now this one here um <laughs> her shoes falling off this was actually my sister's troll when we were little so when we played trolls yes we used to play trolls just like barbies um they would have families they would live um together they were actually trolls were born by the mummies and the mummies and daddies were always the large ones like this pulling balloons down and finding which babies were on top now, I, I know the things kids come up with if my sister's watching this right now she's probably going oh yeah i remember that <laughs> <laughs> we used to get inflatable balloons and then pull them down and put our new ones on top of the inflatable balloon and the mummy would find what's on top of the balloon and be like oh my god my new babies because we all know that's how you get babies you pull on balloons and <laughs> you find whatever baby is at the top so this was my sister's childhood one which is a ballerina and again the condition is amazing five dollars again five dollars this little sleepy dude oh he's so cute I just love them I love them so much they make me happy just looking at them there's something about their face and how they are that I just absolutely adore wow we got this little guy here in his sleep and a onesie here with a big sleepy noddy he's got like a big noddy hat here again really good condition check out this out oh my god he's got a butt <laughs> really cute five bucks okay so out of the lot this guy is probably the worst but for five dollars it doesn't really matter he's not in any sort of terrible condition um the face is really good the arms are really good and most of, i think the body was actually yeah the body is really good but you can see the piles on his actual outfit now this is a material which you have to be really careful when you're washing with toys because if you put it through the washing machine this is going to happen um there are ways of restoring this material i have done it on a uh a doll that was worth a lot <laughs> that I got secondhand before it takes a lot of snipping a lot of gentle brushing <laughs> and it takes a long long time for the sake of a rust troll doll I'm just gonna buy an authentic outfit that goes with yellow hair and change it over and it's gonna be perfect because I don't think it's worth restoring this outfit it saddens me to say that, but hey, $5 for the doll naked, I would have paid happily anyway. So that's the next one. So those are the Rust Trolls I got for $5 each. 
Okay, now that I've moved the trolls out of the way and tried to bundle my plushies and soft toys <laughs> up in more of a pile here, what shall we do next? Let's get the um, the surprise line out of the way. Now, I have two doggies here, um, and I have a vintage one here, a vintage teddy bear, which needs a real scrub, and something just fell off the back, which I'm going to have to <laughs> fish out later. So... I paid, oh, I think it was $5 for one of these puppy surprises and not much more for the second one. The bear, I paid, oh my goodness, I paid a little more for the bear, but um, since it was a vintage one and I did not have the bear and some of the, I actually haven't seen the bears in shops for a very, very long time from, well, the vintage ones, obviously. Let's bring them up. I think I paid $5 for the pink one. It's funny because she's actually in the better condition. Um, so this is the purple one. Now these are sh were selling in the shops for $60 New Zealand when they first came out. They then went down to $40 New Zealand. And um, I had they've been sold, in my er sold out in my area for quite a while. So hardly anything wrong with it. Um, the restoration on the fur, you can see it's getting that funny pile that gets on fur is a very simple technique. I'll show it in another video how you restore plushies to look exactly like they were on the shelves so you can get rid of this. It, <laughs> it's really really easy. Um, there's probably videos already up on it. But I didn't have this purple one. My daughter wanted this purple one and I just love her colorings. She's so cute and you can see by the no marks on the face that she's hardly been paid with. She was listed as hardly paid with. It's just the fur that needs a bit of fluffing. <laughs> okay, so the thing with these toys is you open up on the bottom and you go, ah, make babies. Oh my God, they're pulling my babies. Um, so she only came with two puppies. I'm sure they come with three, four or five. So she's only come with two. But I wanted all the puppies for um, a future video I'm doing, which is, oh, Surprises! New to old! <laughs> a bit of a vintage video on that. Let's get her babies back in there. So she had one boy and one girl. And then this one, I'm pretty sure, was the $5 one. And her fur is a different material, you can see. And it's hardly been played with. You can still see the heart emblems in the fur. If you've never looked at the pink one up close, it's showing really well on camera there. There's actually hearts delicately shaved into the fur. And she is gorgeous condition. She's just like she's come out of the box. And she's bursting! <laughs> Always look to make sure they also have their tags. A lot of surprise pets um, I see secondhand don't have their tags or their puppies. So make sure they've got babies in them. Boop! <laughs> we've got these cute little babies. So we've got a girl. We got a boy. Wow, he, he doesn't seem to match her at all, does he? <laughs> yeah. And we got another girl. So this one came with three. I love this one's face. And you can get runts. I think we've got a runt in a previous opening we did of another puppy surprise for my daughter. So let's get all the babies back in there. I'm sorry, mummy. Oh no. <laughs> let's just shove all your babies. $5. And then I got this one. Now, I paid a lot more for him. Um, I paid a lot more for him because his fur is actually really clean. The dirtiest part about him is um, his plastic hair, which I'm pretty sure I can clean up in no time whatsoever. So, what am I calling him a him for? It's a her. And I just love this color combo of the yellow pads, the yellow tuft of fur, the white and the blue. Um, if I'm guessing, I'd say I paid around $20 New Zealand for him. So about 12 US. Around about the 12 to $15 US. But I paid that much for him because I her goodness gracious me. <laughs> um, <laughs> because these are getting a lot harder to find. And I've noticed that some eBay prices are ridiculous for them okay so this one instead of opening from the bottom uh they put it in the back of her and it has its little vintage babies 
Oh my god, there's one, two, and three babies in the back. And I just love, love, love these little teddy bear babies. Again, the fur is really clean. It's the faces that just need a scrub, and it's just dust. It's just dust. So I am super, super excited that I got this one. Um, this one was from an auction win from memory. Um, actually, I think most of these were auction wins that I'm going to bring up. <laughs> but, but my teddy bear surprise, so cute. So next, I'm going to bring up another vintage toy. Uh, I don't know if these were too big in America. I am not sure, but I know that the UK... I've seen a lot of UK people that um, have them and sell them. These are the Wrinkles dogs. Now, the thing with these dogs um, is they have this horrid looking thing in the back of their head but they are puppets for some reason during the 1980s there was a huge surge of puppets that came out i remember having quite a few so and then you could talk with them like this they did come with clothes so obviously i didn't pay as much for this guy here as i paid for this little girl but i just loved the coloring on them so let's have a look they look like the old wrinkly doggies. Oh, they're so cute. And um, something to look out for is to make sure that they have their tags in their necks. Um, quite often I find these have been pulled out or the inside where the thing is, is all rough, but really good quality. You can see here the tag, which is all embroidered so it doesn't fade. Like a lot of vintage toy tags that are printed, they fade over time. I know that's a big thing with collectors, is making sure the tag is nice and clear. Really, really cute. I just, I, I love them so much that I had to have them. <laughs> and her here. Now again, um, a simple step. You can see this side is a bit mushed up and the fur has started to collect. It is literally going to take me two minutes to restore her there. Look at and she's got these little bow ties on the top and this gorgeous little blue dress. Now the only thing that's missing from her, I believe, is from memory she is meant to have a doggy bone in here, but I'm not too worried about that. You can pick up little accessories like that over time. Got her nappy on. And again, make sure there's always a tag because collectors like to know they have the tag, the heritage collection. <laughs> very, very cute. Love it. Okay, I've moved them closer. Now, a vintage toy which I paid, because generally in um, secondhand finds, I usually some dolls and stuff I pay two to three dollars for. Um, plushies, I actually pay a little bit more for. I can pay anything from 10 to 20 dollars New Zealand. Um, and when I find things for five dollars, I'm really, really excited. I don't know why it is that way in New Zealand, but plushies tend to be more expensive than other toys, which is weird. <laughs> so this one I paid $20 for. Now this I paid a lot of money for because A, it's hard to get in my country to find, and B, it is a memory for me. This is something that was special. Now I had the purple one, but without paying a lot of money to ship her over from overseas, because I have no idea what happened to her, I saw this um, pink one go up for $20 on an auction and I'm so glad I got her for the 20 she is a blinkin so she is a vintage toy from the 1980s and when you touch you can see she still works so these were kind of like along the same lines as glow worms where they are were, were, well they were made for children who are afraid of night and needed a little night light etc and they are just so neat and it's I've seen like the new glow ones they bring out and stuff but it's nothing as cute as this check out this face that is adorable <laughs> and they had the big night bud Beep. Whoop. <laughs> Oh, their butts lit up like glowworms and their antennas. I love her. So lots of vintage toys. Okay, so something which came, I've just remembered, something that came with the troll lot, but I have no idea what it is other than it cost me $5. <laughs> is this thing. 
I am not sure if I'm in love with it or I'm horrified by it. And I love trolls. I love the new trolls from the new trolls movies. I love Zelfs. I love um, Rust Trolls, the vintage ones. It's a play school toy. The Cousin Darling. Cousin Darling. So it's some sort of troll because it came in the troll lot. Um, <laughs> It's something I'm going to have to do research on. I don't know if I love her or not. She looks gorgeous. Sometimes when I look at her and other times I look at her and I think she's looking at me sideways like, mm. <laughs> so I'm going to have to do research on her. It's a shame. This is what I mean by tags. Collectors are very fussy on tags. You can see that it's frayed around the sides and it's getting a bit manky. Other than that, she's in really good condition. Um, I just don't know what she is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put her over there. Okay, uh, before I get into the popples, I'm going to show this little bag, which I got for $1 from a thrift store. It was one of the church thrift stores. My daughter <laughs> saw it. It is the weirdest thing ever. It is a Kiwi and Friends New Zealand bag. Um, so obviously it's something that's specifically aimed at the tourists. But it is a pink fluffy bag. And it has a sheep head hanging off the side. <laughs> it, I looked inside. It's never been used. It's obviously something someone's brought and said, hey, that's cute. And um, it's just completely clean and new. It was so weird. And my daughter loved it because it was so weird that we brought this. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I threw that into this video. Just a bit strange. But for a dollar, who cares, eh? Uh, okay, let's bring in the bubbles. All right. I have a huge mountain of toys shadowing my toys, but we're getting through it. I'm trying to make my videos a little shorter so I get through them. Okay, so Popples are, again, a vintage toy from the 1980s. Um, this one was 11. Uh, no, she was 11. She was 10. And this one, I'm not sure. Uh, I was slightly disappointed in this one's quality. Um, we'll get to her last. So this one was $10, um, still goes into her ball, the whole thing with Popples was there, awesome little soft toys that go into a ball. When I was younger, I had the purple guy, and I've been told he's a rare colour to find now, which is real sad because I've desperately been looking for him for a long time. Oh well, um, I'm picking up the other colours as I go, you know there are Popples, they've got their little embroidered tag here really really cute toy again something that is a memory and something that collectors like nowadays to pick up for us and I used to use the pouch so they could carry things rather than turning them into a ball because they're so cute like this so she was actually really good quality for ten dollars you can see her fur is fantastic for its age the hair on top needs a bit of a um, redo but that will only take me a short moment to do but other than that her pads her stitching she doesn't have any big stains on her and for a white toy for its age I considered her a really really good toy uh, buy and I love her <laughs> okay next now this one I paid eleven dollars for oh my god my mountains are plushies it's Mount Plushie let's hope it doesn't erupt um so this one I'm not actually familiar with. It looks like a new one, um, but I got it from the same seller. 2001. Okay, so in 2001, they obviously had a resurgence. I didn't know that. I know they had a recent one, which I brought some popples from, but you can see they made them with the same idea, except smaller, and this one is in very zany colors, and keeping with the popples theme there is an embroidered well it's not embroidered um sewn on tag well I'm actually curious to have a play I haven't done this yet to see how easy it is to get oh it also has oh, penny pin pinwheel penny oh the cool they have their names embroidered on their feet that's kind of a cool addition <laughs> now in the original popples you could get if 
if you were like me with my orange one. You could get their entire head in there, so they were basically just a ball. I don't know if you can do it. No, there's no way. So you, it looks like these ones, you keep their heads just kind of about out with their tail to their side. For $11 again, this one is in pretty much brand new condition. They're, that's why I was quite happy to pay $11 for it. I'm sure it was a lot more when it first came out. And look at these things in her hair. She's got these little things in her hair. Absolutely gorgeous. Another one for my collection. And I am also doing a vintage through time. Uh, basically, I'm going to call the things from then to now. Um, toy review on Popples, how they've changed. So, probably my saddest purchase. This was from an auction. Um, she did kind of allude to the quality not being so great but the photos I thought it was in better quality than it was this is a vintage rockstar popple the tag is completely faded there's nothing on the tags um apart from some smudges uh the hair she said she redyed which is okay I wasn't too worried about the hair because that's something I can fix easily um She's just seen a lot of better days. Um, the stuffing, I wish I'd been, if I'd been told the stuffing wasn't really good in her, I probably would have not purchased her because a lot of things I can restore, but I don't know how to restuff her unless I'm doing some delicate sewing work. And on a vintage toy, I, I don't want to be too invasive. So she actually cost me a bit more than um, the other popples even for her, but... I'll see what I can do. Um, she might be a placeholder until I get something better. She is, of course, a vintage toy. She is gorgeous. She's just in terrible, terrible condition. And sometimes you win. I had a lot of wins over here. I mean, I didn't pay anything that I regretted for any of the vintage toys. And the Rust Trolls being $5 each. Oh, my God. I am definitely having buyer's remorse over her. Poor little baby. So I'm going to restore the fur easily. There's her popple tag. I can restore the hair easy. I can get rid of the pile-ups. I can get rid of the pulls. I just can't do anything about the stuffing with her face. Let's bring her out. So you can see her face is sunken on one side. Oh, and she's a bit dirtier than I thought she would be. You see this vintage one? How the fur is beautiful and white on this one. It's got a cream color. I don't know if it'll show on camera, but you can see that it's slightly off white there. This one is fantastic condition for $10. That is my haul! Yay! Oh, let's look at Mount Plushy. <laughs> Here it is. Oh my god, Mount Plushy. Oh, and that weird troll thing is right on top. <laughs> Love me. <laughs> oh, Popple, don't erupt. <laughs> All right. So uh, most of this uh, um, most of this marketplace haul was from auctions. Um, as I said, it's very, very hard to find vintage plushies, and they're usually extremely expensive in my country. I don't find v um, vintage plushies hardly ever for cheap. These were cheap enough. When I say that, I say everything I got here I was happy with. And I think the Blinken was actually the most expensive out of the lot. Which for $20 I'm more than happy to pay that for her. So if you love plushies, if you love vintage plushies, please give this video a thumbs up. If you love toys in general please subscribe we love to open toys here and we love to share thank you so much for watching bye bye bye